all right so in this video i want to talk about some advanced rag building concepts how you can integrate few of the uh, information into the rag which can give you better retrieval uh, while doing the rag right so uh, let's get started so first of all like uh, uh, doing some few required installations i will try this with uh, google palm 2 api key so you can also try with uh, the llama 2 so i have given the code here also so i'm doing some required installations like langchain then the palm 2 api related uh, google generative ai then the chroma db so we will also use the chroma db as a vector store then the sentence transformers which are uh, related to create the embeddings and then a few of the things which are related to loading the gbtq llama 2 model right so we will try to uh, do it using palm 2 but in case you wanted to use the llama 2 model this is the way to do it so i have commented out so in case you are interested to use the uh, llama 2 model so you can just uncomment and use this so after that i am importing the palm 2 uh, google palm 2 api using langchain and there i am mentioning the temperature is 0.0, .0 and the top k equals to 1 so i just don't want uh, to have any randomness in the input so uh, uh, so the to make the outputs more deterministic in nature i am using the temperature equals to 0.0, .0 and top k equals to 1 right so then i am uh, uh, like creating an embedding model using this uh, hugging face embedding and i am mentioning the model as sentence transformer and after that uh, so this concept of advanced rag where we will try to uh, bring in a lot of informations which are related to the metadata of each of these documents on which we are trying to create the vector store right so uh, the concept or the uh, the document list which i have created was so this was uh, this one of the post coming from uh, kd nugget so there it has details of to top 20 research papers on machine learning and deep learning so if you see uh, so what the con the thing which i have used here this is like the top uh, research paper in the uh, machine learning field so i have been using this information like dropout a simple way to prevent neural networks from overfitting is that i am using as name then i have also incorporating the authors who have written this paper and also the number of times the paper was cited right and the summary i am using as a page content so with that i will try to build the rag and uh, i'm putting extra information like uh, authors and the number of times the paper got cited and also which year the paper got published all this is i am uh, putting as an extra information to the uh, as into the document information right so if you can see like i am using this uh, page content where i am putting the summary from that link then in the metadata i am incorporating name uh, then the year or the year the paper was published then the authors and also in the end uh, the field right so the paper is related to which field so i have mentioned for this as neural network and the regularization so the uh, dropout is generally related to the neural network and regularization technique so with that uh, so i have created this document along with the metadata right so this metadata will help us to uh, do a advanced rag retrieval and uh, with that we will try to uh, see how the performance is when we are doing the retrieval so similarly there are a few other uh, documents which i have created so here for the simplicity purpose i have just used the summary of the uh, paper as as a uh, page content so you can use the whole uh, the whole paper as as a page content then try to build a rag so just to keep it simple i have used the summary as the page content of each of this uh, document right so with that like i have used four to five papers along with their number of citations authors name field and the year uh, the paper was published and after that uh, using uh, the chroma vector db i am creating a uh, vector data store where i am passing the documents and also the embeddings right uh, then we will also create the metadata uh, field info right so previously we kind of uh, created the documents now uh, the metadata which we have uh, so we will also create the attribute info related to that metadata so if you can see 
here I am creating metadata field info so like first attribute is uh, the name of the first attribute is name then I'm adding a description and also a, the type of the attribute it's a string here right so in case of year I'm mentioning the description as the year the paper was published and then I'm mentioning this is an integer value right similarly I have created for authors cited and also uh, the field right so here the cited is an integer the rest are like string right so with that I have kind of created a metadata field info and that we will incorporate while building the rag right and also like I have given a document content description so I have mentioned here is like brief description of some famous machine learning papers and with that we will try to now build a self query retrieval right so in the self query retriever we we are passing the llm then the vector store uh, then the document content description and the metadata field info which we created where we have the attribute description the data type and also uh, the name of the attribute right then i am mentioning verbose equals to true just to see how the retriever is working right so then i'm passing a, a question to this like which paper cited more than 2000 so it will generally it will try to build a query and it will try to do a uh, just a simple query which is like a where clause to a SQL right so with that concept it will try to retrieve the document which is really relevant to this uh, concept right so here only one paper one paper was uh, having a citation which is greater than 2000 and that is getting outputted uh, from this now if I go back to the self query retrieval document of Langchain so you'll see it uh, if it uses uh, OpenAI as the LLM, it gives you more details. Like it mentions, like if if you are asking, uh, I want to watch a movie rated higher than 8.5, right? So you can see if you keep the verbose equals to true, then it will create a filter condition, right? So the the filter condition is comparison, and the comparator is GT. So GT is nothing but greater than them right so and uh, it's also mentioning on which attribute it is working and what is the value of that comparison right so attribute equals to rating and the value equals to 8.5 and with that it's retrieving the documents which are uh, having a rating greater than 8.5 right so this is I have seen like this only works uh, if you are working with OpenAI models and uh, that is one thing where Langchain needs to improve the support for other open source LLMs. Like if we are using Palm 2 or Llama 2, uh, those extra informations are not coming when we are doing this self query retrieval. Right then, we are also asking uh, just a simple question object detection data set. Right? And it's kind of picking up the document which talks about the Microsoft Coco data set and it's giving you those relevant informations right so here you will see like uh, it's bringing up all the text for you right it's not doing any compression so in the next video i will try to cover like how you can while doing the retrieval you can summarize the text and you can do a contextual uh, compression of the uh, retrieved value so that we will talk about in the next video but uh, by incorporating how the metadata info how the uh, you can build advanced rag that we are talking about in this video then i am asking uh, which paper has less than 1000 citation right so here it's also picking up like uh, the values it's doing a comparison on less than and it's doing the comparison on the cited uh, column and it's checking if it is less than 1000 or not so this is one of the paper which got uh, picked up then there is uh, this value which is like cited equals to 865 and also another paper which I mentioned previously was uh, this one which talks about like uh, cited equals to 830 right so with this uh, it can uh, like using the metadata it can do better retrieval and uh, this is kind of a uh, thing which you can try it out when you are building a rag so you can pass on the extra metadata info uh, while uh, creating the embeddings and that will give you more uh, accurate retrieval uh, using this concept right then I am asking please let me know about the details about batch normalization and it's picking up uh, all the document which has uh, talked about the batch normalization con uh, concept right 
so then i tried uh, one thing uh, like i have mentioned uh, here the regular regularization you can see the spelling is wrong and uh, so uh, what the llm which we are using here it's kind of correcting that spelling mistake and then sending back uh, the corrected information or the corrected query uh, to the retrieval and then it's uh, doing the retrieval right so that is the benefit of using uh, llm along with a uh, rag along with the other metadata info so it's kind of uh, correcting the spelling mistakes and uh, the other details and it's kind of giving you uh, better results using this right so yeah so this is the concept which i wanted to talk about in this video like how you can uh, bring in the metadata info to while building the rag and which can give you better results when doing retrieval augmented uh, generation so with this i will end this video so i hope you like this one uh, please give a thumbs up if you like this one and also subscribe the channel if you haven't see you in the next video uh, in this lang chain crash course series thank you all thanks for the time